May I say? Yeah, please sit down. Mr. Aditya, so and this, uh, is this your first or second attempt? Sir, this is my first interview, sir. First interview? Yes, And sir. how many times have you appeared? Yes, sir, this is my fourth attempt, sir. Your fourth attempt? Yes. Okay, and first interview? Yes. So, why are you so keen on joining the civil services? Uh, sir, um, I had given a thought about it. And sir, I find the, this uh, very uh, platform of being working for the country, this gives me enthusiasm. And sir, I find the civil services as a very diverse platform. And sir, I also believe that uh, in the current times, uh, when uh, there is much liberalization going on, mm. civil servants have a very um, special uh, responsibility to maintain the balance, uh, to have a uh, to act as a channel of communication between the okay. corporate sector and the public sector. Right. Aditya, you have taken sociology as a subject. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you must have heard of the controversy about the All India Services losing its sheen. So what do you feel about it? Sir, I think uh, the society has also, uh, society also needs to change their perception with regards to the civil servants because, sir, we have come a way along uh, having passed the colonial uh, era. So, uh, as far as the role of civil servants uh, in the present scenario is concerned, uh, they need to have more uh, transparent working and they need to be more accessible. And on this scenario, I believe the uh, changes are coming up and the society will uh, take some time to observe that and the perception would surely get corrected. You really think so? Yes, sir, I strongly believe that. What is Dharma Sansad? Pardon, sir? Dharam Sansad. Dharam Sansad, okay. What is it? Uh, sir, it, it is basically a meeting of the people of uh, the Hindu Hindu believers uh, that, that are organized in uh, religious places like Rishikesh and recently uh, one is going to be organized in Rurki. Today? Uh, sir, I am not sure about the date. I read it is going to be organized. In this context, there is some... Uh, Observation by the Supreme Court. Are you aware of that? Yes, sir. What is that? Sir, so the Honorable Supreme Court has uh, asked the Chief Secretary of the Concerned State uh, to uh, conduct the said uh, conference uh, within the ambit of law and no hatred or the communally uh, sensitive speeches should be made like the earlier uh, case when they were made. What is hate speech anyway? Sir, I think uh, hate speech is any kind of... Uh, um, provocation uh, which pushes one community against that of the uh, another and which has the repercussion. In what manner? Pardon sir? In what manner? How does it happen? Sir, it is basically based on the mentality of uh, religious differentiation. There is a differentiation alone or something else? Through words and action which inflame the passion of that is what? Yes. So what is this IPO which is coming now? So there is this IP of LIC uh, of, on which the government is planning to sell off some stakes. Which How is much are they uh, unloading, so to say? Sir, I am not sure about the figure, but the uh, price of per share is going to be somewhere around 900 rupees. And what is happening in this uh, futures retail? Have you heard of this? Uh, yes, sir. Recently, the Reliance Industries has said that it, it can't go ahead with their acquisition of... Why? Sir, I am not sure about it, sir. I, I had read, read about it, but... Not able to recall right now. There was a inauguration somewhere in Gujarat. What yes, was sir. that? Sir, it was a global convention of tra uh, related to traditional medicines. Uh, what happened then? Pardon, sir? What happened? Sir, uh, it got inaugurated and mm -hmm. the WHO uh, head was also there mm -hmm. along with Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Oh, okay. Prime Minister, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Aditya. Yes, ma'am. Uh, in sociology, you know, in the last uh, 20 years, what are the any important developments in sociology? Ma'am, one thing uh, that I have observed is there are many Indian sociologists coming up with their studies relevant to the present context, uh, which are detached from the colonial hangovers. And the another thing is, ma'am, uh, we are focused more on the rural development and their promotion and their promotion and uh, matching pace with the urban areas. And Globally, anything? Globally. What about globalization? Is it a critical analysis? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, the sociologist and the economist, they are uh, of the view that globalization as mooted is not all positive. It has its negative also, uh, in which it is killing the tradition, traditions and also it is creating unwarranted competition, uh, which in a way is making the lives of natives and the developing nations challenging. And it is creating a global village, uh, international village, where the regional identities are getting diluted in view of the westernization, which is mistaken as the modernization. Uh, you've heard of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, yes, SEO. Yes, ma'am. Tell me something about it. Okay. Uh, and uh, particularly with reference to India's uh, membership in it. Broadly, what is SEO? Why was it set up? Okay. And India's role in it. Ma'am, SEO was basically set up to uh, have the security. Um, environment set out in the Central Asia. Uh, it has India and Pakistan uh, recently got its membership and as far as India's role in, in it is concerned, uh, it provides a platform for India to have uh, dialogue with the uh, nations uh, like, Ch uh, like uh, China and Pakistan, uh, which in a way is lacking as far as Pakistan is concerned because we are not very active on SARC and uh, also the uh, RATS body of the SCO uh, which is there to tackle the uh, terrorism. Uh, India has a great say in that and it is going to play a very uh, positive role in the border security and the peace of the region. And also it has economic uh, angle also to have smooth uh, transaction of the uh, goods and services between the nations. And what the about connectivity? Uh, yes ma'am, it has also connectivity as one of its issue. One uh, of the main roles, ma'am. Yes ma'am. And what was that one earth, one health, you remember? That's yes, ma'am. Yes? Ma'am, it was to have the inclusive attitude to have uh, humans as well as animals and the whole biodiversity to be taken into consideration uh, when it comes to uh, planning policies regard, uh, related to health. Okay. Can you name some of the major connectivity pro issues there, like in which India is also having a stake? Uh, ma'am, in the uh, region of Central Asia? Oh, that's Central Asia. Yes, ma'am. Uh, India has invested heavily uh, in Afghanistan on the Gwadar port. And another thing is uh, India INSTC. Uh, yes, INSTC. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm not able to re full, recall the full name. Uh, but it was a connectivity. Uh, the international North South North South Cor Transport, uh, Transport Corridor. Corridor yeah. Yes, ma'am. And another thing is. Uh, ma'am, then uh, there are some in Eastern uh, Asia, like the uh, Kala, uh, Kalamur. Yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. You've got the general Now, you hear a lot about Taiwan, right? Yes, ma'am. Now, tell me something about India-Taiwan relations. Okay, ma'am. Do we have formal diplomatic relations? No, ma'am. India considers Taiwan as a part of China. Although we have uh, good relations in terms of trade and... But do we still uh, follow that uh, one China policy? Yes ma'am, we follow that. Didn't we stop it one time? Yes. Ma'am, I am not aware about it. Alright, tell me yes. about Taiwan. Taiwan. What kind of ties do we have with it? Ma'am, uh, basically we have cultural ties and trade related ties. And, and we have representative offices. Yes, ma'am, representative offices, okay. which are named after the uh, using the cultural term. And another thing is, uh, we are exchanging uh, human resources mm -hmm. for uh, training and skill development uh, verticals. What about trade and investment? Ma'am, there are trade relations, although I am not very specific about the figures and mm -hmm. know hows of it. Oh, what is uh, Taiwan's importance? Why is uh, China so, you know, aggressive about Taiwan? Ma'am, China uh, in the current scenario is uh, posing its influence in the region of the South China Sea and it is also uh, adopting an independent foreign policy and coming out as a nation, uh, as a superpower, superpower nation. So, uh, China... So, its location is very strategic, no? Yes, ma'am. In that the Asia Pacific East -West corner, connectivity, yeah. yes, Straits of Taiwan and the North Sea, the South China Sea. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so strategically also. Yes, ma'am. 
So what is the fear about the China-Taiwan issue? China is apprehensive of the role of West um, as far as Taiwan is concerned, particularly uh, UK and US, ma'am. And also, ma'am, they are apprehensive of the role of Japan in that regard because China is also having uh, some island related issues with Japan. And for that matter, China has border issues with the entire uh, Indo Pacific area. So it is very particular about its sovereignty and uh, its. Uh, perception of the global world to be to see China as a superpower. Okay, uh, what is the right to be forgotten? Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, uh, this right has been much much talked about recently, especially uh, when uh, we get to know about the European Union's uh, data protection regime. And right to be forgotten has also been mentioned in the recent uh, B N Shri Krishnan committee that has been formed uh, to regulate the. Uh, privacy and data security and it deals with the uh, right to have uh, their details or their personal things to be removed from the public platforms. Yes, and it, this has found uh, kind of uh, recognition in many parts of the world. Yes, How is it looked upon in India? Ma'am, uh, the uh, agencies uh, looking after it ha has positive outlook, uh, although it has not been materialized as it is in the process. <coughs> And for that, we also need to have uh, on board the social media intermediaries like the Facebook and Twitter and the Ministry of the Information and Broadcasting. Uh, they are having dialogues with the conversation with these bodies. And but our judiciary does. Yes, ma'am. Judiciary. That it is. Uh, judiciary accepts it. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. Judiciary accepts it. Uh, have you heard of Robin Island? Uh, no, ma'am. I'm not able to recall it. The famous. Prisoner kept there for 27 years and then later becomes the president of. Ma'am, I'm having some fainted hmm. idea about yeah, it, but not able it? to answer the question. Nelson Mandela. Okay, ma'am, yes, yes. All right, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Tell me the factors or the uh, source of uh, <coughs> income for Taliban when their struggle with uh, America was going on during the last, starting from 2001. What funded their activities? Sir, uh, their primary source of funding is the grants that they receive from the Western world. Uh, when Western the, world? Yes, sir, specifically USA. No, they were fighting USA at that time, I am saying. Okay, okay, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, that was uh, before the government was in power. Yes. In yes. So, they are uh, having the uh, the gas pipelines that are crossing the Afghanistan, they are charging revenues for that. And uh, sir, no, you are going on the wrong track. Then I'm Think sorry, sir. I'm, I'm not uh, very what sure about it. Sir, how they survived? Grants came, but from where? Sir, China and Russia are, are also involved in this. No, grants came initially from uh, Saudi Arabia okay, and that in the name of Islam. I Okay, okay, sir. Islam and other factors. And Thank you for the second factor about which I don't know if you know. I'm not sure, sir. Okay, uh, Afghan economy has been termed as rentier state by a famous uh, uh, historian from Helmut Smith University from Germany. What is rentier economy or state? Sir, I'm not sure, but I can I make yes, a guess? Sir, I'm not sure. Sir, I think it's something which uh, deals with borrowing money from one hand and using that money and uh, spreading their influence. Borrowing and there is no borrow. Or, or only the, one way. The grant, uh, the grants that are coming in. They, they are depend on international grants. funding. Yes, sir. And uh, there is very little return, okay, except sir. that you can utilize their strategic uh, location of Afghanistan. Yes, which sir. Of, uh, US did yes, for sir. a very long time. Correct, sir. You are right, actually, it's, uh, some grants came to certain elements within Afghanistan okay, even sir. during this struggle between the two. But what is the other feature? One is that uh, what is the other feature of the same rentier state? Not sure, sir. Okay. <clears throat> then have you heard of poppy cultivation in Afghanistan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Opium and. Opium. Yes, sir. 
it funded about 70% of their budget yes, sir, in 2009-10 somebody estimated. Yes, sir. But how did they operate? They grew and how did they get money? Sir, I think uh, there must have been some uh, underground channels and uh, these very so-called developed nations. And support from Af uh, Pakistan. Okay, sir. From Pakistan. They did it jointly. Okay, sir. Which countries uh, their material went first? Pardon, sir. Which? Where did they supply first? It went all over the world, but which was the first recipient? Okay. Not really. Mm -hmm. okay. Tell me, who was the paramount leader when modern economic reforms were initiated in China? Sir, uh, Mr. Mao. Mao ki baad, Mao had passed away. Yes, sir. Uske baad ki baad. And Mao was not for reforms. He was for typical, strictly. Sir, Mr. Zedong. I am not. What is name? Z Zedong. I think my pronunciation is not specific. It was uh, uh, Deng Xiaoping. Okay, Ping. okay Ping. sir. Ping. He was the next one after Mao Zedong. Okay, sir. What sort of reforms were undertaken by him? Sir, they uh, basically changed their idea of communism and they inculcated some of the market practices where they opened up their economy Which to some. Ones? Sir, as in the uh, their uh, conservative and closed economy, they opened th that and come up as the manufacturing hub uh, with the help of Western world. And sir, they also brought uh, uh, strict labor regulations where uh, they were made to work for long hours with uh, le uh, less incentives. What was the foundation? You are right, most of things uh, you have said right. Okay, sir. But what were three foundation of those reforms? One, two, three. I'm sorry, sir. I have to look about it. I'm not sure. If you try, you can get. If you think. So I have some memories. Of, I have some where I have read about it, but uh, that would be a very vague answer. Okay, don't give me vague answers. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for the knowledge, sir. <laughs> no, you you read uh, Wikipedia. Okay, sir. Uh, briefly, you will get. Okay. Sir. Then they say that China, after uh, 2001 or so, shocked world. Six shocks it gave to the world. Can you guess? I know. What were those six shocks? So around 2000? Ha, after joining uh, WTO, it is uh, alleged that it gave six shocks, shocks to the world. Sir, I have to make some guesses. Sir. I'm not ha, do guess. make, uh, sir, uh, one thing can be regarding the environmental degradation, the emission of gases. Uh, no, they were all positive so far. China is concerned. Okay, sir. They were shock for the rest of the world in some way. So their economic grow growth rate uh, in the uh, two digits. They became a, a big market power. Okay, that sir. was one shock. So everybody has to. Nobody could ignore them. Then and so th and uh, they came to be known as the nation having upper middle income uh, group. And yes. And third can be sir manufacturing hub. They they promote I mean they encouraged middle classes. Yes sir. Then and sir they opened up for Hong Kong capitalists. They brought fifteen thousand of them. Okay sir. In uh, uh, Pearl River Delta. Okay, what was the other shock other than this? Not I'm, I'm not able to recall or. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you sir. Mr. Yes, sir. Uh, coming to your hobby part, extracurricular and hobby. Yes, sir. You have given the spending time with pet animals. Yes, sir. What do you mean by pet animals? Sir, I have a dog. Dog. Oh. Yes, sir. And I love spending time with him. And not only with him, I also love spending time with stray dogs in my colony. I regularly feed them whenever I get time. And sir, I have a very soft corner for animals. Um, and in return, what do you get from them? Sir, it, this relationship, I don't think I should expect anything from return, uh, from them in return. Although, sir, uh, we can learn some things from animals like the uh, level of compassion. Talking they have. about your dog, your pet. Yes, sir. What do you get in the return? Sir, uh, uh, in the meantime, I have been some, I have been through some emotional ups and downs, and spending time with my dog. You mean to say that it is? Great stress buster. Stress buster, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, and they have unflinching love for you. Yes, sir. Definitely. Without any condition. Yes, without sir. Any condition. Yes, sir. That is the two traits. Yes, sir. So, which breed do you have? 
सर आई हैव अ लेबराडोर एंड अ देसी डॉग आल्सो सर एन इंडी लेबराडोर नाम कैसे पड़ा उसका डू यू नो सर लेबराडोर यस सर इन द कनाडियन कनाडियन रीजन देयर आर देयर इज अ लेबराडोर करंट वेयर द नेटिव बैक इन द हिस्ट्री दे यूज्ड टू ब्रीड द डॉग्स टू कैच फिशेस एंड दैट्स व्हाई दे वर नेम्ड लेबराडोर एंड व्हाई लेबराडोर इज सो फेमस Sir, it's a very lovable, lovable dog and can be lived. Only lovable or they are very, very loyal lovable. also and very emotionally sensitive dog also. Means if I can give you an example, if I don't feed him on time, then he would not eat on time also, and he would bark at me that you. What about giving. their intelligence? So they are intelligent dog. Uh, as in, I have trained him uh, some commands. Uh, with the they generally the traits, generally traits about the. So they are Labrador. obedient dogs. Very obedient dogs. Coming to the second part, you are listening to gazelles. Yes, sir. Gazelle ka kaha hai? Where uh, it it originated from? Gazelles. Sir, so they have their origin in the Arabs, and uh, they got famous in India uh, with the advent of the uh, Delhi Sultanate. And in the modern times, they are also uh, changing with the modern pace of the current music. And sir, so we have uh, very good uh, gazelle singers in India, like Mr. Jagdeep Singh. and gulam ali of pakistan so many other singers also can you also. please specify two three traits of gazel sir gazels have a, a very soothing melody and they have 12 couplets which i read in a book although sir i am not very literally uh, aware about the gazels uh, and uh, they are all uh, they are dependent on indian rags and uh, sir their lyrics are more of the uh, romantic or the heartbroken side So these are some of the traits which I am able to recall. Uh, I am able to collect right now. Coming to the choice of surveys you have given, yes, sir. You have given custom and central excise uh, reference before the income tax. Yes, sir. What was the reason for that? Uh, sir, I had uh, some uh, conversation with one of my senior, of my one of my college senior, and he informed me that uh, in the present scenario, custom and uh, excise services. give you more diversity when as compared to the income tax uh, you get the opportunity to work uh, at the airports and uh, very different verticals within the ambit what is the job of a custom officer irs customs what is the job of sir basically they are uh, given the responsibility to collect the custom services uh, custom revenue and they are also posted at uh, airports and uh, various um, ports also so that they can have overlook over the uh, import and export the trade that is very minuscule part of it okay sir collecting custom duty yes by the irs custom duty okay. that is a very minuscule part of the entire indirect tax okay sir what are the other part of the indirect tax so gst collection is one thing gst is a big component yes, of sir. that indirect tax and gst mein sabse zyada component kiska hai not sure sir service tax okay sir service tax thank you so how service tax is different from income tax sir income tax is uh, levied on the service uh, salary and uh, service tax is sorry sir i have to read about it not very specific thank you thank you sir mr aditya yes sir. <coughs> you know the government of india had last year approved this kain betwa link project yes sir Can you tell me something about this project? How what is envisaged in this, sir? It is basically the uh, interlinking river project, in which the sole idea is to transfer the water uh, from the surplus region to the deficit region. And sir, uh, it has been planned a long years back. I'm not uh, sure about the year, but I think more than forty or fifty years ago. No, forget the history. Yes. What has been approved? You tell me that. how will the water go from point a to point b sir through the uh, channel of canals and ch- uh, which are being um, how many canals are being made i'm not sure about it sir how will the water from uh, kain river uh, what is happening how will you collect the water from kain river sir it, it is collected through the basin of the river uh, after you are not fully aware of it okay sir i'll read about dam it dam is to be constructed on the kain river yes sir the sir. basin is in the betwa basin yes sir and what will it do it will provide water to uh, to which area sir to the uh, northwest mp and the gujarat and gujarat. Ra- southern rajasthan also 
I suggest you read about it. Okay, okay? sir, I'll read about it. This is a very definitely. important project and the first linking, a river linking project which has been yes, approved. Hmm? Now, uh, the NRC, National Register of Citizens. Yes, sir. What exactly is this, you know, because the government announced in 2019 that we will implement this. Yes, sir. What does it mean? Sir, it is the, uh, it is the registry of the uh, temporary residents of the country. Temporary residents? Yes, sir. So you will not be there in the NRC? Sir, I will be there. But you are not a temporary resident? Yes, sir. I am not a temporary resident. You resistant. are a citizen of India? Yes, sir. Otherwise, you wouldn't be there for the civil services? Definitely, sir. So, sir, will you be there in the NRC or not? Yes, sir. I will be there. Although, sir, uh, people who are not the citizens of India, they will also be uh, registered in that NRC. <coughs> so, from that sense, I was saying the temporary residents. Yeah, you should be clear in your mind. So, what you are saying is temporary residents of uh, in India and the citizens of India will find mention in this register. Is that what you are saying? NRC ka concept jo hai, is it already there on the statute book or not? It was announced in 2019. Yes, sir. But is the NRC somewhere there in the our uh, statute book? Sir, recently in the it has been practiced in Assam. Yeah, what has happened in Assam? Tell me. Sir, there were some, uh, there were thousands of names uh, excluded from the uh, registry, and uh, they are likely to be deported. And thousands or lakhs? Sir, I think there were around sixty thousand people, some sure. figure like that. So what? Uh, how did the NRC? Uh, why was the NRC taking place in Assam? Sir, it was uh, with regards to uh, an accord that uh, Assam Accord. Okay. Uh, that was signed between the National Student yeah. Union and the Assam Government and Government of India. National Students Union? Uh, National Assam Students Union, sir. NS ASU. ASU, yes. Sir. All Assam Students Union. All Assam, uh, sorry, sir. Yes. And so, what did the accord say? Uh, sir, it uh, it was to, uh, not uh, able to recall right now. Chali, aap dekh sure, sir. Now, this Malabar Naval Excise, can yes. you tell me something about that? So I think uh, it is an exercise between India, Japan, and Australia. I'm not sure about Australia, sir, or the it is either Australia or US. Sorry. Okay, you check it. Sure, sir. Uh, why was Elon Musk in the news recently? Yes, sir. Sir, he made a bid to uh, buy Twitter in order to make it a private company so that he can, uh, as he says, that he will uh, promote the free speech. Uh, of which there were allegations that Twitter was compromising because of its nature as a company. Okay, right. So we end your mock interview. Thank you. I'll sir. give you a feedback. Okay, sir. You see, Mr. Aditya, yes, sir. so far as the UPSC interview is concerned, questions can come to you from two broad areas. One is your DAF and the other is current affairs. Yes, sir. Right? So far as your DAF is concerned, you had sociology as your optional subject. So, some questions are asked, but other questions can also be asked on sociology. Sure, then you belong to Madhya Pradesh. So, naturally, some questions relating to your state yes, uh, can, can be expected. Now, you have studied in NIT Bhopal. Yes. Sir. And uh, you have given, uh, you participated in a human powered vehicle championship. What is this human powered? Sir, it was a competition where uh, uh, we decided to make a vehicle uh, which is to be powered by human energy. Uh, if I say in a simple words, it was a cycle. It was a tri-wheeled cycle. Okay. Uh, which was how many uh, people? How many humans were involved in this vehicle? Sir, it was driven by one person. One person. Yes. Sir. Okay. Then uh, you have mentioned pet animals. Yes. You have responded to that. Gazelles, both those areas you can be asked certain questions. You sure, should sir. be prepared for that. Okay, sir. And you worked uh, for about 8-9 months, you are mentioning in Bajaj Auto. Yes, sir. So, something about this, you know. Then Bajaj Auto, were you in their uh, two-wheeler program? Bajaj? Yes, sir. Two-wheeler uh, program. Yes, so, you know, what is the market uh, of two-wheelers in the country? Yes, sir. What is the percentage of market by Bajaj? Which okay, are the sir. other major competitors of two-wheelers? Yes, sir. Different kinds of two-wheelers which are coming. You've got electric vehicles now. Yes, sir. You had recently in the paper about some batteries exploding. Exploding, yes, sir. It was not Bajaj, was it? It was, so it was Olas. Olas. Yes, sir. So, you know, these are all issues related to your two-wheelers. Yes, sir. So, be clear on these. This Definitely, issue also, sir. Right? I'll read about them. Yeah. Now, current affairs, you must read your newspaper very carefully. Yes. Uh, I don't think you are doing that at the moment. 
एंड यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम आपका तो पच्चीस मई को है तो यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम वॉट आई वुड सजेस्ट इज दैट यू टेक अ न्यूज पेपर एवरी डे रीड इट थॉरली ओके सर एंड देन वट एवर यू रीड इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स वो यू नो इवेंट्स विच आर हैपनिंग विद इन द कंट्री नॉर्थ ईस्ट में क्या हो रहा है जम्मू एंड कश्मीर में वॉट इज़ हैपनिंग ओके सर इन द साउथ वॉट इज़ हैपनिंग इंटरनेशनल विजिटर्स आर कमिंग एंड मीटिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर वॉट इज़ द रिजल्ट ऑफ दोज यस प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज लाइकली टू गो अब्रॉड और सेम सो ऑल दीज वेरियस इशूज आर डिस्कस्ड इन न्यूज पेपर यस यू हैव अ सिस्टम बाई विच यू आर एबल टू कीप ऑल ऑफ दिस इंफॉर्मेशन विद यू यस एंड देन एवरी डे यू नीड टू रिवाइज इट एंड यू कीप ऑन एडिंग यस सर बट दंस द अल्टीमेट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज दैट वेन यू गो बिफोर फॉर यूर इंटरव्यू ऑन द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ यू आर एबल टू रिकॉल दीज थिंग्स प्रॉपरली यस सर सो दैट इज हैज टू बी योर अल्टीमेट ऑब्जेक्ट श्योर सर so for that you have to devise a system by which you will do it okay the more information you have at your command the better your interview will be definitely okay. sir i'll work on that ha ah. so that is the crux of the issue okay sir i think 26 is the last day for the yes, interview sir. probably yes i am having on the second last day of second last yes, day sir. and day on the day of the interview also yes sir don't forget to read the news sure sir sure theek hai definitely chaliye okay all the best thank you sir right thank you sir thank you ma'am Don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update